Hello, 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 Cancer. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, my beautiful souls. How are y'all doing? Today is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, Tasty Tuesday, whatever Tuesday it is for you, my beautiful souls. I hope you all are having a beautiful week so far. I love you guys. How are y'all feeling? Hello, new viewers, cross watchers. I need y'all to come in and I need everybody to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. Now, listen to all of my subscribers. You are subscribed to me. Make sure that you turn on your notifications to the word called all. Okay? That's going to let you know when I post on the community board so you don't feel like you've been left out. Make sure you don't put it as personalized. Put it as all. Okay? Let's get it started. Let's see what's in your energy, Cancer. Spirit guides, God, this is for Cancer. This is for Cancer. Let's see what's in your energy. My beautiful Cancer. Spirit guides, talk to me for Cancer. What's in Cancer's energy? All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Patience. Okay? Patience is in your energy. Woo! Service is in your energy. All right, Spirit. Tell me more. One more for cancer Woo. and doubt bottom of the deck is adversity so we're going to get into it my beautiful cancers so the first card is patient i accept that everything happens in divine order you a lot of you know how it works in the in the realm okay you know how it works in in in, in divine timing how god has it all placed in your life some of you you know how it works. Some of you need to work on your patience about whatever it is that you want to happen in your life. You have to realize that it's orchestrated by God, by the angels, by the archangels, okay, by, yeah, the spirit, okay, when it's ready for you, for it to happen in your life. So some of you may need to work on that. The second card is service. I feel good when I can help others. A lot of you could be good at, you may be some type of uh, into the service, or you just have a very caring heart, okay? But also, you have doubt here. I release the need to know all the answers. You also are doubting something, okay? So, I feel like with this doubt and this patience here, and at the bottom of the deck, it's all about adversity behind that is about love okay so some of you could be in the energy of doubt and love you have been through a lot a lot of adversities okay you have been through maybe some bad relationships you've been through some challenging relationships whether it's marriage whether it's just relationships whether it's parents whatever it has to do with interaction okay i accept the challenges are the best way to learn even though you've been through a lot when it comes down to this, okay? But you 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 realize, or if you don't, Spirit God say, realize that your adversity is just you uh, um, um, learning. Uh, this is a lesson to be learned, okay? Uh, the card behind it is love. Now, some of you uh, may be getting impatient when it comes down to love, Okay? Um, and it's, you know, you got love here, which is clarifying. You feel good when you help others. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So you could be somebody that's very optimistic is that you're not giving up on love. But at the same time, um, you are a very loving person. But at the same time, you have been through a lot of adversities. Okay. But I feel as though that what Spirit Guys is telling me that is that uh, you give so much, but you just like waiting like you're like, God, when is it my time? I pour so much into other people. I have a loving heart. I care about other people. I have done a lot of forgiving people. Sometimes I feel like you don't understand. Um, no, it's sometimes you don't get all the answers that you that you're seeking. And I feel like this coming from a lot of energy that you give so much and you don't get back. That's why sometimes I feel like you're in the place of doubt. Okay. And it's like, it's like Miss Paul's and thoughts and energy. I have forgiven people. I'm not harboring over any feelings or resentment of how someone treated me. I see the good in all people. I want the best for everyone. I want to be loved as well. When is it my time? Yeah. 
when is it my time? I also feel as though that you acknowledge that harboring over what someone done to you does not bring in your blessings any further. And it also was blocked the, it will block the flow of love in your life. So this card actually was in the reverse when I pulled it from the deck. But you, uh, the release to need to know all the answers, like, I feel like you're more worried because like I said, you got the forgiveness card that's clarifying the doubt. I feel like what's in your what's in your mind, your consciousness, or your subconscious, or in your thoughts, Cancer, is that I feel like at one point in time in your life, you wanted to know if this person that or the people that done you wrong, or this marriage, or this relationship that done you wrong, are they going are, are are they going to get are they going to get dealt with? And I feel like you wanted at the time, not saying right, I'm not saying at this moment in time, but in your past when you were harboring over what someone done to you, it's like, they done me this way, God. Why did you let the, you know, they done this. Are they going to get what, are they going to get what they done to me? Is they going to get their karma? Are they going to get their karma? Are they going to get their karma? At one point in time, you wanted, you just wanted so bad to know because you really put a lot of energy into loving people or loving this relationship or this connection that you're in, that you wanted to see this person in their karma. But you finally, you finally let go of that, the need to know the answer. I feel like you finally woke up one day and you stopped harboring over resentment okay over what someone done to you and you said you know what it ain't for me to know god it ain't for me to go to know long as i forgive that person for for me and not for them i feel like for a while you really wanted karma to hit this person really bad you did but you stopped one day in your life you stopped and you thought about it and you realize that you were harboring resentments of what this person done to you. And in order for your life to change, I feel like you had a lot of regret here. Okay? That's another card at the bottom of the deck. I know that I cannot change the past. You regretted a lot of things that took place in your past. But it was nothing that you can do about it. But at the time before you became your ill version, you held on to the resentment. You harbored on to uh, what this person done to you. And you put a block up for yourself. Because you wanted whoever this was. I don't care if it was a marriage, a carriage. I don't care what it was. I don't care if it was mama, daddy, sister, brother. You really wanted karma to come back on this person. Because of the resentment. Because of what they done to you. And all you done. All I done Miss Paulson Thoughts is you. All I am the kind of person that loves to help people. And love to love. And I was treated badly. I was, I was pooped on. And it took you some years. And some of you may be still going through this right now. Like I said everybody on different timelines. Some of you already been through this. Some of you going through this now. Some of you, this is coming in your near future that you're going to have to eventually let go of harboring over resentment of what somebody done to you. I feel like you really want karma to come. And Spirit Guides, God said everything, everything happens in divine order. So the whole time, that you were wishing that this person would get their karma because of the past and you can't change the past. What has happened has happened because you regret that you allowed this person to do you such a way and you can't take that back. The whole time you was wanting karma on that person, you were blocking your blessings. I don't know if some of you realize this or not. But when you want somebody to get what they done to you, like I say, it's not going to miss anybody. But God knows when to give it, when, when karma, God knows when it's time for karma. Everything happens in divine order, in divine timing. 
you wanted karma on them and that's where you were blocking yourself from your own blessings because you was ready to see this person go through their karma. Some of you may be still going through this that you want to see this person that done something to you, that treated you like they treated you and you want them to get the karma right now, God. Bring it to them right now, Lord. It don't work like that. It don't. I don't care what the situation is, Cancer. I don't care what the situation is. It does not work like that. And you realize that. The doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Like, why ain't this happening to him? Why didn't you do this to him or her? Why didn't you do this to her? Why, why? The doubt, the doubt, the doubt. When is it coming? When is it coming? Why it ain't here? Why it ain't here? When is it coming? All that played in your head when all alone, Cancer, you were blocking your own blessing. So, let's see what, what, what's going on in your reading. Yeah. Yeah. You were blocking your own blessing. Your wheel of fortune is at the bottom of the deck. My God. Finally, you realize, God, I'm sorry. I ask you for my forgiveness for harboring over resentment of how somebody treated me, done me dirty, and they may be still doing it to me dirty. But God, I leave it all in your hands, high your swords. I give it to you, God. I don't need to know the answer. It ain't none of my business. I don't care. I know whatever happens is going to happen in divine timing, in divine order. Now, how I know you finally let go of that resentment, Cancer, is that the will of fortune is in the upright. The Wheel of Fortune says you had to have done something different to allow this wheel to start to move in your favor. That's why good luck, good fortune, your destiny, you're on your path. You're no longer blocked by holy resentment. This is good fortune in your, you're doing the right thing. Now, if you were still harboring over resentment, bitterness, why this person ain't got their karma, the card would have came out in the reverse. Okay? But it came out in the upright. Will of fortune. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cancer. You are now allowing the will to move in your favor. You are no longer blocking yourself from harboring resentment and bitterness towards what somebody done to you. You have finally left it in God's hand and letting God take uh, take over. You are now not questioning anymore why this person ain't got their karma of how he or she done me. Two of Wands, you're no longer at a cross... Listen, you're no longer worried about what this person's future holds. You're actually concentrating on your future. You see what I'm saying? The two of wands in the reverse. It's like their future is none of my business, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy, because I am in the will of fortune on my own path, my own destiny. I have unblocked myself because I forgave this person for me. That's how it works. Not worrying about the two of wands in the reverse, what somebody else's future, what, what their future is. You're letting that go. That ain't none of your business. If you haven't, Spirit guys, God say, let it go. It's none of your business. God will work on it when it's time. They will get their day. You just work on unblocking yourself and moving on and stop harboring over what somebody done to you and let it go. Remember, you are not forgiving them for them. You're forgiving them for you and moving on with your life because God will deal with them. Yeah. 
spirit guys, tell me more for cancer. I'm just saying. We live and we learn, baby. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You're no longer. You're no longer worried about that anymore. You're no longer putting any energy in that anymore. You're no longer worried about her, him, whatever anymore. You're focused on your own journey. Because you are good. You are good people. You see the good in everybody. You see the good and you everything, every intention you ever had towards anybody was always good intentions and they done you dirty. But Spirit Guys, God said, I need you not to concentrate on what's going to happen in their future and worry about your future. Who am I talking to? Put in the comment. Tell me more, Spirit. Yep, you said, I'm done. I'm recovering from how they left me out in the cold, how they mistreated me, how they done it with the five of pentacles in the reverse. You're now recovering. You hit rock bottom, but you, 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 you listen, you're going to the top. That means that you're recovering from being how, how mistreated you were. Or some of you may be still going through this, but you're recovering. You realize that you got to get on your own path and do your own thing and not worry about if this person getting their karma or not. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more, spirit. And you just got to let it go. You got to let, you can't change the past, but just keep being who you are. And uh, let go of whatever been blocking you. And that day will come. King of Swords. You had to think very logical about this. You had to think very logical. You had to put some, you had to put some thought into this. You had to meditate on this. You had, it, it, you had to really, it took a lot. Of you changing your perspective of how this person treated you. Some of you had to go into some deep meditation. Some of you with this 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 uh, intellect. You had to think logical. Am I stopping my blessings? By harboring over how somebody done me? How my... How my Mama dummy, my daddy dummy, my sister dummy, my my relationship I was in for 5 to 10 to 15, 20 years. Uh, am I going to keep holding on to that and stopping my blessings? Stopping God from giving me my blessing because I'm, I'm, I want to sit here and I want to wait patiently for somebody to be served their karma. Where did that get you? Nowhere. Because while you sitting waiting, wanting somebody to get their karma, guess what? Your life is blocked. You ain't even moving forward. We got to think about that. And you woke up and you realized that. You sitting waiting for somebody to get their karma, but you holding yourself back because of the resentment and the bitterness and the, of what they've done to you. You got to let, let them worry about their own future. Let God work that out. And you move on with your life, honey, sir, ma'am. That part. Tell me more. Oops, that's two cards. Yep. <laughs> the world card and the hangman. You had to close the door because you were stuck. You were stuck waiting patiently wanting somebody to get that karma. And that put you in a place of stagnation. That put you in a stagnation state. Because you were sitting back waiting, God, okay, when she going to get her karma, I'm waiting for her to get her karma. I ain't going to be satisfied until you go ahead and beat the hell out of her. Because that's when I'll be all right. And you thought that because you sit there and you wait patiently because you just waiting for that person to have their day. Honey, you may not never see it. You may be dead and gone. 
and you're going to sit and wait for somebody to get that karma and not live your life? You say, oh, no, I got to close that chapter. I'm done with that. I'm done with that, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. I am done with that. I'm no longer blocking myself from abundance of love or what God has for me because I'm sitting waiting for somebody to get their karma. See how you can hold yourself back because you, you're like, okay, God, when she going to get it? When he going to get it? Where is it at? Why ain't you did nothing to them yet? Why you just going to let them get away with that? You going to let them get away with that God? And you sit and you waited. And you carried that burden. For a long time, some of you carried that burden between 1 to 10 years. 10 years, you carried that burden. Right there. You carried that burden for some years. Some of you still carrying that burden. Yeah. Let's see what's let's see what's holding you back, Council. Let's see what it was that held you back. Talk to me, Spirit. Give me confirmation what held Cancer back. Ah, I just saw it too. I just saw it. Being a victim. I just saw it. Playing the victim like. You know, they done me this wrong. They just done me. Why you ain't got them? What you waiting on, God? Why ain't they, why ain't they ran into a pole? Why come they ain't done this, done that? Look how they treated me, done me. Look, Lord, why you ain't done nothing to them yet? Confirmation, God. Spirit, give me confirmation. Anxiety. This had you anxiety. You went through a lot of anxiety. Excuses. Excuses why you can't move on. Excuses because they done me like this. And I want to, I'm waiting patiently for her to get her karma. For him to get his karma. And you made excuses. That's why I haven't moved on. Because I'm waiting. When in fact you just held your whole life back. Waiting for somebody to get their karma. Which in fact they may not even get it in this lifetime. But they will get it. But you may not never see it. Some people live to see other people get their karma. But some of you. Some of you are not going to see a person get their karma. And you made excuses. Well, it's not right. It's not right. I was hurt. They drug me. They beat me. They this, 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 this me. And it ain't right. Spirit God says you have many soulmates who would be great for you. There's not just one. So this person that you thought was the one for you, you got many soulmates, but this just wasn't the one for you. That's what Spirit God said. This was just not the one. You got many, you got many soul soulmates. That person just was not the one for you, Cancer. A Biblia. Okay, some of you, you say you want love, but you're not all in. Take the time to figure out what you want. Some of you are a bivalent. But when it comes down to this, sweetheart, sir, they will get their karma. <laughs> but you don't put your life on hold and put a block up for yourself because you wait impatiently for somebody to reap what they sold. And no, it don't work like that. I love you guys, but it don't work like that. Food card. A lot of you said that door is shut. I'm taking a new chance, a new risk, new chance. I'm going to live my life. Whatever they get, that's what they deserve. And I'm not going to wait no more because I'm stopping my own blessing. And that's how it should be. Because you got the wheel of fortune. You carried this burden 
a long time, for 10 years, some of y'all carried this burden because of what somebody, some of you still carrying the burden. And so Spirit God's God said, whoever you are that's trying, if that's still waiting for somebody that done you wrong to get their karma, Spirit God's God said, I need you to let it go and go on with your life because you may not even see it this lifetime. But when you see it, if you see it this lifetime, just still go on and go on in your life. Don't sit and wait for the karma to hit somebody. Because you're holding yourself back for what is for you. And that's happiness, prosperity. And a lot of you realize that and you close the chapter of waiting on somebody to get their karma. And now the wheel of fortune is here and the food card taking a new leap on life, starting over, doing your thing and not worrying about who going to reap what they sowed. I love you guys. In my readings, there are lessons blessings and confirmations you just have to be vigilant and listen to the message don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time cancer